Borderlands 3 expands the franchise in a lot of crazy new ways. The guns are more diverse and more flexible, the classes are fresh and awesome, and there's much more to see in this threequel than just Pandora. So let's hop aboard your personal spaceship and hub world as we count down the top 5 places aboard Sanctuary 3. What's going on everybody? It's Ghost Robo. I've played a ton of Borderlands 3, so we're bringing you all sorts of cool, diverse content. Hit that like button if you are pumped for Borderlands 3, and let's take you on a little trip to Sanctuary 3, our hub world, and our beautiful place. Our journey begins at Mad Moxie's Bar and Slots, our number five location aboard the ship. It's a pretty big ship, as you can see. We're able to make a top five list of places because the ship is that big, and it's laid out quite dance. nicely. One of the first places you'll see beyond your starting location is Mad Moxie's Bar and Slots, where you can mingle with Moxie herself or play a variety of slot machines in hopes to win money or other wares. She's got a lot of neon lights, a lot of personality, and I foresee spending a lot of time spinning these machines trying to get something super freaking awesome. Next up, we've got number four, the control room, which is a super sweet spot because it's where Lilith resides, it's where Claptrap lives, and more importantly, it's where you'll begin your interplanetary adventures. One of the most defining elements of Borderlands 3 is the fact that it expands beyond Pandora into a universe full of planets. It's possibly the most defining element of the game. And in this room, that's where you'll pick where you go next. You'll travel from Pandora to Eden 6, among other locations. You can stare out into the stars, see where you're headed, and it's just a cool looking room. A nice welcome home banner. And after a small misstep, Claptrap embeds himself into the wall, making this a room you cannot miss. All right, we're gonna have to leave Claptrap stuck there so we can breathe, but let's head to the back of the ship where number three, the crew quarters, are located. This is a super cool spot to catch a breather or explore the quick change machine. Now, these are located on the planets as well, but it's nice to have everything in one location, including a lost loot machine and a player bank. So you can mess with the loot that you missed, you can change up your appearance, and just chill in your own private quarters. That robot is insane! He said he'd punish us if we told anyone. Claptrap, did you imprison our crew? You mean the intergalactic engine? Let's head down below towards the cargo bay, where one of my favorite places on Sanctuary 3 takes its home. We're talking the black market. Descend down a few flights of stairs, and you'll arrive at Crazy Earl's creepy door. There's also a veteran rewards vending machine where you can buy some incredibly good loot, but I like the black market better because it houses a ton of sweet customization options. Quick change is where you'll apply, but black market is where you'll buy, and don't worry, it's all purchasable with in-game currency. It's not one of those affairs that we've got to get worked up about. You can mess with heads, you can mess with skins, there's emotes, there's trinkets for your guns, and plenty more, and I really like the variety, and I think given how this game is stepping into 2019, making my very own Flak or Amara is going to be important. From here we move to my favorite spot though, my number one. It's the golden chest, guys and girls. Here is where you'll cash in golden keys to unbox this incredible array of awesome blues, purples, and maybe even oranges. We're talking incredible grenades, shields, and of course, guns. Now in the past, Gearbox has been pretty darn generous with their golden keys, and I expect something similar to follow with Borderlands 3. This is not a spot where you can buy your way to success. It's a spot where you can cash in golden keys to grab really good loot and feel super giddy about it. It takes the top spot because honestly, in Borderlands, what matters most? It's the guns, and here is where you'll find the best of them. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this countdown of the top five places on Sanctuary 3. It's a really awesome hub world. There are plenty more places to explore, but I'll leave some of those for you to find for yourself once you get the game 
in a few weeks? It's actually really, really close, and I'm super hyped. If you guys want to see more Borderlands 3 action, definitely smash that like button. Let me know your favorite place on Sanctuary 3 in the comments down below. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're in a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. They really need a, a hot chocolate machine on Sanctuary 3. That would take the cake, seal the deal, and make this one of my favorite ships in the world. But until then, everybody, have a fantastic day, and we will see you all later.